start with VOR navigation and the VOR indicator you will find in your aircraft. Now the VOR ground base station transmits a unique signal which is received by your aircraft's VOR receiver. The transmitter projects a signal 360 degrees around the station and you can see that right here. These signals are referred to as radials from the VOR transmitting station. To understand this concept, think of a hub of a wheel and the wheel spokes, or in this case, the radials. Here they are projecting outward from the hub. You can see that right here. Now the VOR radials are all considered to be from the station. Here's the VOR station, or the hub of the wheel, right here at the center. Now in addition to the VOR indicator, the aircraft is equipped with a receiver. Now the receiver is a tuning device. Prior to navigating to or from your VOR station, you have to enter the VOR frequency and identify each station. Each station has its own Morse code identifier. Now here's an example of what you hear when you identify the station. Here's the VOR indicator that you will find in your airplane shown right here. This little knob is called the OBS. You can see that right down here or the Omni Bearing Selector or Course Selector. The Omni Bearing Selector can move the entire face or the entire dial of the instrument to any desired course or it can determine a radial from which the aircraft is flying. Remember, radials are magnetic bearings outbound from the VOR ground station. Now this is the course deviation indicator or CDI as it's referred to. It indicates the displacement of the aircraft relative to the selected omni bearing. Now if the CDI needle moves to the left, you're to the right of your desired course and you would fly left to intercept it. Now each dot that you see on the needle right here represents two degrees. When the needle is centered, you're directly on the selected course like we see right here. Now this window right here is the to from indicator flag. If it displays two, as in this case right here, you see it displaying two, uh, then you are flying to the VOR station. Now if from is displayed and the course is shown at the top is followed, the aircraft is flying away from the VOR station. The window can also show a red flag, which indicates that the unit is off, and that's what we have in this case that you see right here. Now the little red flag is popped up. This means you are in an area of ambiguity where the VOR signal cannot be relied upon. Now we'll go into more detail on this shortly. Assuming you are directly south of the VOR station flying north with the OBS set to 360 degrees, the needle is centered and you can see that right here. Now if you set the OBS to 330 degrees, the needle is deflected to the right and we see that in this example right here so you can intercept the 330 degree radial. When you set the OBS to 030 degrees, the needle deflects to the left so you can intercept the 030 degree radial. Now let's put this concept into motion. First, we'll set the OBS to 330 degrees and when we do, note the needle deflection. Next, we'll set the OBS to 030 degrees and again, note the needle deflection. Now, this next animation illustrates the operation of the to and from flag. Again, we are directly south of the VOR station, flying north. Note the needle is centered, and we have a solid to indication. Next, if we set the OBS to 180 degrees south, note how the needle deflects. You'll also see a brief red nav flag, and finally you'll see a solid from indication with the needle again centered. Let's watch that one more time and watch for the red nav flag as the OBS is swung from 360 degrees to 180 degrees south. Now these concepts will become clearer as we continue in this lesson.